Okay, bass players, strap in because we're about to go into new and uncharted territory on the bass. I'm going to introduce to you a little bit more advanced technique that all bass players have to master. Uh, and this technique is called shifting. It's a pretty easy concept to understand, uh, but it will take quite a bit of practice to master. Uh, up until this point, all of the notes that you've played on the bass have been in first position. Uh, so let's start with the, the notes that we know in first position. So <clears throat> all the way down here from the open A, that's the lowest note we've practiced so far this year. And then first finger on the A string gives us B. Fourth finger, or a pinky, gives us C sharp. Then we travel over to the D string, play the open D string. First finger, put that down, that gives us E. Fourth finger, that gives us F sharp. Then we go over to the open G string. First finger gives us A. And fourth finger gives us B. Okay, so just to review those notes, so we can establish what we know so far. So we go A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, go back down, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. All right, so we're gonna, pl we're gonna play that together pizzicato. We'll do half notes at about this tempo. One, two, ready, and. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, back down to A, to open G, F sharp, E, D, to C sharp, to B, to A. All right, so those are the notes we, we know so far, just a little review since uh, you guys had a couple of weeks off. All right, so we're gonna add two new notes to that. So if we start from the open A, Go all the way up to the B, and we want to continue that scale. So that's all D major scale right there. We're starting on open A, but it's still a D major scale because all those notes belong in the D major scale. Okay, normally D major scale would start with open D, like line 53 in your book, that's D major scale. It starts with open D. All right, so we go up to the B, but we want to keep going on that scale. So what we're going to do is shift our left hand into third position. Now, my bass, I play this bass professionally, so I don't have any finger tapes on it. Um, but on your bass, you should have finger tapes. And you'll notice third position, is it's really easy to figure out. You're looking at your first finger, your index finger. When that's on the first tape, that's first position. When you move that first finger up to the second tape, that's second position. And then when you move your finger up to the third tape, that is third position. So. Hopefully uh, your bass is taped uh, like everybody else is in the district. So you have first position, second position, third position. When I put my finger there, that's third position. And then I just line up my other fingers. You should have another tape here for your pinky. So you'll have one tape lined up on your first finger and one tape lined up on your pinky. Now the first note we're gonna look for, by the way, I'm on the G string uh, for this whole exercise. You can shift on every string. And in fact, you should know how to shift on every string. But for now, we're just going to start with the G string. So when I go shift to third position on the G string, and I put down my middle finger or second finger, I'm going to get the note C sharp. Okay? If I put down my first finger, I would get C natural, but we want C sharp for now because we're in D major. So second finger, C sharp. And then when I put down my pinky or fourth finger, I'm going to get the note D. So that completes the D major scale. If we start down here in the open D string, Hopefully you can hear that we completed the scale now. Okay, and then we're going down, D, back to second finger, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Okay, that's the whole scale. Now, here is the kind of harder part to master. Whenever you shift, you're naturally gonna want to let your thumb sort of 
slip out of place. We worked a lot on getting the thumb lined up with the second finger. Hopefully you remember that from the first semester. We want to keep that thumb lined up with the second finger. And as you shift, you want that thumb to stay right in the middle of the hand, right behind, and you want it to end up right behind that C sharp. I don't know if you can tell that from this angle, but I've got my thumb lined up behind that second finger right below the C sharp. And then I place fourth finger D in the back. Okay, so that's kind of the tricky part, and that's why we're going to start doing this pizzicato. So this time, I will start on the open D string. We'll do half notes. We'll do half notes on the D string. This is a good tempo. Okay, so we'll go D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then we're going to shift our thumb and our second finger forward to third position. Halfway between those tapes is C sharp. Two is C sharp, and four is D, and then we'll repeat the D at the top and come back down. Okay, I'll call out the notes as we go. All right, ready? D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Repeat D, C sharp, back to B, A, G, F sharp. E, and we're going to repeat, play D again, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, repeat that D to C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, and D. All right? Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's try that with a bow. Same idea, but now we're gonna use a bow. Let's do just uh, four measures, uh, sorry, uh, four uh, bows on the D string and four bows on the G string. I'll start, then you repeat after me. Your turn. D, D, D. Now we'll go to the G string, my turn. turn D string. Your turn. My turn G string. Okay, so now hopefully you remember how to use the bow. We practice the left hand with a shift. So we're gonna put the bow and the left hand together. All right, we're gonna play that whole scale. Remember, when we get to the top, we're gonna to repeat that D at the top. So we'll play that note twice. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. as much as you like. All right, so now we know the entire D scale and we're playing that with a bow. I know that uh, made it, I know that made it sound a lot easier than it is, but with practice, you'll get it. All right, catch you next time.